Despite favorable global oil prices, Nigeria's state of economy remains worrisome. Economic management is not delivering desired outcomes, and even if a crisis is avoided in the near term, long-standing policy and institutional challenges are persisting and severely constraining the economy. Nigeria's economy needs to grow faster to reduce poverty. Accessing the state of the economy of the nation uh, earlier uh, on our show, Business Nigeria, a chief consultant with B. Adedikbe and Associates Limited, Dr. B. Adedikbe, puts his position on no down with regards to synergy between the monetary and the fiscal side. We must have what I call a policy anchor. A policy anchor means there are certain sectors of the economy that want to anchor our development around. We must also clearly separate between economic sectors and enablers. And I'll just mention three enablers here that we can all relate with easily. Infrastructure is an enabler. Education is an enabler. Okay? Health is also an enabler. They all connect to productivity. So, but the issue now is if you interrogate our GDP and the contributions to it by different sectors of the economy, you see official data. They also point to you what, which particular sectors contribute the most to our GDP. And there are six of them steadily in the last 10 to 12 years. And that is agriculture. You see their trade, ICT, manufacturing, mining, acquiring, and real estate. And I'll give an example here. If you look at what the Chinese government did, in the last four months, okay, two things specifically to re energize the economy toward their objective of eradicating extreme poverty. But that's what it's all about. And they came to an understanding clearly from their data that the real estate sector accounts for a significant portion of their GDP. It used to be around 34%. I don't know what it is right now. Okay, so what the Chinese government did was number one, revive the zero COVID policy. That will enable now contact intensive economic activities to happen. That's one. Two, they looked at the real estate sector that contributes significantly to their GDP and said, if our economy will turn around, if we truly impact poverty and eradicate extreme poverty, then we need to intervene in the real estate sector. So they approached the banks that were carrying banks and non performing loans from the real estate sector and provided a fund to intervene in that sector. In which case, we can restart growth in that sector in order to restart our economy. Dr. Adedikbe, there citing an example uh, talking economic development across the globe.